one s orbital and three p orbitals they mix together or they combine together to form four sp3 hybrid orbitals sp3 hybridization means that in this mixture of atomic orbitals there is one s orbital and three p orbitals so there are total four orbitals are present in sp3 hybridization and here is 24% of s character and 75% of p character present in sp3 hybridization now let's see how this one s orbital and 3p orbitals combine together to form sp3 hybridization let me give you an example of sp3 hybridization of carbon atom in a molecule like methane so now consider the sp3 hybridization in carbon atom we know that in methane central atom is carbon and its atomic number is 6 now we know that there are 6 electrons are present in carbon atom in 1s there are 2 electrons are present in 2s there are 2 electrons are present while in 2p there is 1 electron in x orbital and 1 electron in y orbital now let's consider the excited state of carbon atom there are 2 electrons are present in 1s orbital while 1 electron in 2s jumps into z orbital of 2p so this is the excited state of carbon atom the 1s orbital is already completed having two electrons so this 2s orbital and three orbitals of 2p they are xyz mixed together or combined together to form four hybrid orbitals thus i will place these four unpaired electrons in these four hybrid orbitals and remember that they must have same spin this is the first sp3 orbital and this is the second sp3 orbital this is the third sp3 orbital and this is the four sp3 orbital so we have four sp3 hybrid orbitals each having one electron now carbon has this type of geometry in sp3 hybridization this is first sp3 orbital this is second sp3 orbital this is third sp3 orbital and this is fourth sp3 orbital so each orbital having single electron note down that these four sp3 hybrid orbitals are called degenerate orbitals it means that they all have same energy we know that there are four unpaired electrons are present in this carbon atom and according to valence bond theory unpaired electrons are needed to form covalent bond so now these four unpaired electrons have to participate in covalent bond so for that four hydrogen atoms will share their single electrons with the electrons of hybrid orbitals of carbon atom and then we will get methane remember that hybrid orbitals always form sigma bonds and here four hybrid orbitals of one carbon atom and four hybrid orbitals of four hydrogen atoms forms four sigma bonds and the shape of this methane molecule is tetrahedral the bond angle is 109 degrees 28 minutes this is the shape and geometry of methane in which carbon atom has sp3 hybridization